today, I'm showing you how to make real insecticidal soap using potassium hydroxide. And then I'll demonstrate how to dilute and apply it. This is a cold process method which means there is no heating required. The recipe is simple and expensive and effective against common soft-bodied garden pests. To make this soap, you only need three ingredients. 100 grams of clean oil, 19 grams of potassium hydroxide flakes, and 60 to 70 grams of water. Tap water works fine for this. Start by dissolving the potassium hydroxide in cold water. Always add the flakes into the water, never the other way around. It will heat up on its own, which is normal. Stir until everything is dissolved. Next, pour the oil into a container. Slowly add the lye solution and begin whipping the mixture. You can use a stick blender, a whisk, or a hand mixer. Constant whipping replaces heating. It speeds up the reaction and helps the mixture thicken. The texture will move from cloudy to creamy to a pudding-like consistency. That means the soap is forming. After mixing, let the soap sit overnight. This allows the reaction to finish naturally. By the next morning, the mixture becomes smooth, stable, and fully converted. There is no free lye left and no curing time is required. The finished product should look like a fluid, gel-like soap. Potassium soap does not become a hard bar. A runny or syrupy texture is completely normal and ideal for spraying. To use it, mix 2 to 3 milliliters of this soap per 1 liter of water. 2 milliliters is gentle but effective. 3 milliliters is stronger but still safe. There is no need to go higher. More is not better. Less is not better. The correct amount is best. You can optionally add 1 to 2 milliliters of neem oil and a few drops of alcohol to help it emulsify. When applying the spray, focus on the undersides of the leaves first. Then spray the tops of the leaves, the stems, and the nodes. Also, spray the surface of the growing medium, because that is where many pests hide or pupate. The soap works by contact. Wherever it touches a soft-bodied insect, it dissolves the protective outer layer and the insect dehydrates. Repeat the treatment every two to three days until the problem is under control. If you enjoy DIY garden tools, practical chemistry, and simple effective methods, feel free to subscribe for more updates.